So this might just look like another bowl of ramen, but it's actually its own distinct dish entirely. This is tsukemen, an authentic yet relatively recent spin on the classic Japanese ramen, translating to dipping noodles. This ramen adjacent serves the noodles and broth separately. And while this may seem like an inconsequential alteration, it actually transforms the entire experience, resulting in a bold, dynamic, and unique variation that builds on the essence of ramen, but invites in completely new dimensions of deliciousness. In today's video, we're going to take a deep dive into this delectable dipping noodle sensation. Take a detailed look at popular restaurants throughout Tokyo and hopefully help you decide if this should make the menu for your Japan itinerary. And at the end of the video, we'll share some practical tips that will help ensure you get the most out of your dipping noodle experience. So what exactly makes this any different than traditional Japanese ramen? Well, let's head to one of Tokyo's current most popular and acclaimed dipping noodle restaurants to break things down. The first big difference with dipping ramen is the broth. Generally speaking, the soup is richer, thicker, and far more intensely flavored than standard ramen broth. Here, the broth is made from simmering, mixing, and refining a complex list of ingredients such as pork and various seafoods over long periods of time. The resulting deliciousness can be generally described as ultra-rich, slightly sweet, packed with umami, and well-balanced in taste. It's almost like a concentrated sauce, as it's meant to cling to the noodles and provide a strong burst of flavor in every bite. The next key difference is the noodles. Oftentimes thicker and chewier compared to traditional ramen, this allows them to stand up to the dense broth without becoming soggy, giving each bite a satisfying texture when dipped. And it's not just about the texture, as the cooled noodles coated with the steaming hot broth allows for an exciting temperature contrast. Another highlight about this dynamic experience is the versatile customizability that comes with dipping. For those who tend to find normal ramen too strong or overwhelming, you can dial back the intensity here by dipping sparingly. And for people that prefer the flavor cranked up to 11, you can satisfy these cravings by submerging to your heart's content. On top of that, many places will provide an assortment of spices and condiments for further customization. Bright and tart additions such as citrus infused vinegar or yuzu powder are perfect for adding refreshing contrast to the richness and umami. And while Rokurinsha has certainly become a renowned establishment in the dipping ramen world, it's still only one of countless delicious options in Tokyo. Funji, for example, provides a relatively lighter, albeit delectable, alternative. Instead of pork, they painstakingly simmer and refine whole domestic chicken, along with a myriad of specially selected seafood ingredients for over an entire day. The result is a clean, complex, and essentially creamy soup that they claim is less oily than most pork-based competitors, but still retains impeccable richness. Before we depart from the Tokyo Station area, I'd be remiss not to mention one more standout. Osamu Tomita, an expert ramen chef of national acclaim, has a branch store mere minutes away from the station. Here, you can get a sample taste of his multi-award winning pork and seafood dipping noodles without having to travel out of the city to queue for hours at his main restaurant. As part of a prestigious lineage of ramen shops and often regarded as one of the best in Japan, this location is a recommended pilgrimage stop for all ramen enthusiasts. But now, let's head over to Ginza, where this special spot has a classy, delicate, and completely reimagined interpretation featuring shellfish. The broth is crafted with hamaguri clam as the star ingredient, resulting in a clean yet nuanced umami profile that's both refined and refreshing. The uniquely thin, delicate noodles add an elegant and gourmet touch while the serving of seasonal toppings provides a customizable and vibrant experience. And on the topic of more variety, Mensho Takitora, with locations in both Shinjuku and Roppongi, has an extensive menu that's fantastic for those that prefer a bit of sweet with their savory. With strong and straightforward layers of umami deliciousness, their pork and seafood mix is perfectly complemented by bright and sour yuzu. Additionally, their generous helpings of fatty pork are incredibly tender and savory, making this an excellent choice for those favoring robust and full-bodied flavors. But if you're more in the mood for a refreshing and modern twist, Afuri is a great consideration with its yuzu-infused broth. 
Their soup is specially crafted using chicken, vegetables and seafood to create a light yet satisfying flavour experience. With vibrant sweet and citrusy notes that balance the savoury and umami, this is a fantastic beginner-friendly choice if the aforementioned broths seem a bit too heavy and intense. Unlike traditional ramen that's served piping hot, the dipping sauce here is specifically served chilled to emphasise the smooth texture of the noodles to the fullest. This cool, refreshing aspect makes it an excellent option, especially enjoyable during Japan's sweltering summer months. And finally, we have this wonderful chain, started by the same master chefs behind the renowned Rokorinsha. Reminiscent of its parent restaurant, the signature pork and seafood-based umami is present, but in a more gentle and subdued fashion. Born from the goal of creating a dipping noodle that can be eaten daily, it's light enough to not be overwhelming, but delicious enough to keep you coming back for more. Basically, it's a bit of a Goldilocks middle ground option between the richer and lighter broths. It's also one of the most practical choices on this list as they have multiple locations and relatively lower wait times, making it ideal for a convenient, low stress, yet authentically delicious meal. But now that we've looked at a few options, let's go over some pointers about the quirks of dining at the local ramen shop to ensure your experience is as smooth as possible. The absolute first order of business when you arrive is typically an encounter with a ticket vending machine at the entrance, where you'll purchase and receive paper tickets specifying your order. It's important to note that some restaurants want you to purchase from the vending machine first and then line up to wait, while others want you to wait in queue and place your order when you reach the front of the line. And on the topic of ordering, it's worth noting that many dipping noodle restaurants will often have traditional ramen on their menu as well, in case you're eating in a group and would like variation in the order. It's also important to expect that the typical ramen shop is a relatively cosy and bustling space, which means dining with a large group might be difficult unless you're willing to split up or prioritise off-peak hours. Another insider tip is to grab the handy complimentary apron offered by most establishments, as dipping noodles can involve quite a bit of slurping and splash. And while one of the best parts of this dish is being able to freely dip as you please, it's perhaps helpful to point out how the noodles will eventually cool the broth if submerged for too long. Generally speaking, eating promptly and avoiding letting the noodles sit will allow the broth to remain hot and preserve the temperature contrast throughout the meal. And lastly, once you've finished the noodles, a soup dilution is usually available in case you'd like to partake in the customary act of finishing everything down to the final drop. But that just about wraps up our deep dive into the world of dipping noodles. However, it's important to note that this is by no means a comprehensive list. In fact, it only scratches the surface as the number of restaurants in Japan that offer delicious dipping noodles is dizzyingly high. But hopefully, this gives you a starting point to explore and discover for yourself which dipping ramen delights your palate. And that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching, and until the next video, cheers.